What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss Jessica Kent. So if you don't want to hear about that bullshit, keep on scrolling. If you do want to hear about it, come sit down, have a seat and let's chat. So I wanted to kind of just say that it was never about Jessica Kent relapsing. As a drug addict in recovery, like I know that fucking recovery is hard. Being a mother in recovery is even harder. Okay, I only have one small child. Jessica has two small children. So I understand that sometimes life can be difficult. Sometimes we, we don't choose correctly and we make mistakes. But there's a difference between me, other people, and Jessica Kent. We own our mistakes. Okay, and that is the issue that I have with Jessica Kent is the dishonesty. As you can see, I just woke up. Um, I have no issues with her coming on and saying, you guys, I've been fucking up. And I've been saying this for a long time. We can all see that she's been fucking up. She broke my brush. Ah! Um, by the content that she's been putting out, right? Putting back. Oh, shit. Sorry, Jenna. Sorry. I threw my brush and it hit you. Sorry about that. Flew out of my hand. Um, you okay, baby girl? Sorry about that. I did not mean to hit you. Um, come here. Let me give you a kiss. Hold on just one second. You okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, lay down. You're okay. Mama didn't mean to drop a brush on you. There you go. Okay. Um, like I said, it was never about her um, relapsing and being on drugs. It was about the lack of integrity and honesty. And that's what a lot of people are upset about. Now, recently, it, it's come into question um, whether or not she is bringing people around her that have charges against women and children, which she has been. It doesn't matter if his charges or his probation is over. Why, as a mother, a woman, would you bring a man into your home who has charges against children and women? It's not a good decision as a parent. Just from an outsider's perspective, like any person, any parent would never do that, okay? Another thing that Jessica really, she really thinks it's cool to be like on drugs or a drug dealer. Okay. Um, and it's not Jessica, it's not cool anymore. Um, this picture was recently released of the tattoo on Jason's leg of her smoking a meth pipe and her mimicking the tattoo, which to me says more than anything that she thinks it's funny, she thinks it's cool that her jailhouse boyfriend has a tattoo of her smoking out of the meth pipe on his leg. Jessica, that's not cool. It's not cool. It's embarrassing. Um, Jason, that's not cool. Like, these aren't prison tattoos, you know? I mean, you can tell by the quality. Um, That's some shit that I would have done when I was tweaked off my ass. Okay? Like, I'm sober today. Today, I want to live a life of integrity and honesty and truth. And I want to help people. And I want to be a good person. And I don't glorify um, my past crimes or my addiction. Sure, we can sit on here. We can tell some crazy stories about how stupid I used to be in active addiction. But there's always going to be a, um, a lesson to be learned from my story times. These are little star earrings I got from Shein. Dollar fifty. Super cute. And the moons too. Um there's always gonna be like a lesson to be learned, right? I'm not ever gonna just like put up a video to be like, oh I'm so cool because I used to get high. Because it's not cool. <laughs> you know? Um I also want to kind of say something about a lot of people saying she's buying subscribers. Now y'all know I do not like Jessica Kent. I don't hate her. I just don't like her. Hate is a strong word. I shouldn't say hate because I don't hate anyone. Um, even though she got my whole last YouTube channel deleted, whether it was her or her little minion crew, okay, I know 100% without a doubt that she is the person who had my YouTube channel deleted. Um, now, why am I saying something about that? Because I'm the kind of person that I don't fuck with people's livelihoods. I don't fuck with people's shit like that. Right? You won't ever see me um, trying to get her channel deleted. You won't ever see me um, 
trying to get her fired from her jobs. I don't do that shit. Like, that's fucking bullshit, dude. And um, it's vindictive. It's fucking foul, right? The Jessica, I think she really thought she did something when she had my channel deleted. But she, what she does not understand is, bitch, I'm like a cockroach. Okay? I will keep coming back. I will make 65 accounts. It doesn't matter if they're big or not. I will continue to network and get the word out to everybody and anybody I can. Like I said the other day, I will be in my casket giving Jessica Kent the middle finger when I die at 80 years old. Because she, to me, doing that was fucked up. Like, you don't do that kind of shit to people. You know, you don't, I would never do that to her. And that was, that's really what I think separates me from her and you guys, us from them is that we have integrity. Okay. Yeah. We cannot like somebody and call them out on their behavior and their bullshit and do that. That's called holding people accountable, right? It doesn't mean that you go to their jobs or try to ruin their life or try to get their social media deleted. It just means that you're holding them accountable and she has put herself on social media as a person in recovery as a spokesperson for per people in recovery whether she did it on purpose or not she did that and so as a person in recovery she needs she needs to be held accountable okay it would be like if I was in her position and I was doing all those things and people were making videos about me and saying, hey, why are you doing this, Nicole? I would totally understand why y'all were doing that, you know? Um, so that's what I don't understand about Jessica, like why she can't see that, you know? Um, as far as Jason goes, I think Jason thinks that he is like slick and using Jessica. But what he doesn't understand is Jessica is the ultimate user. And when, he, when she's done with him, when he's done the duties she needs him for, making Reese jealous, that, 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 this, and the third, acting like a stepdaddy, she'll toss him to the side. She'll allow him to get thrown under the bus and go back to prison. And she'll stand tall over there on her little throne in Queen Bee Land. Because she doesn't care about anyone but herself. I, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to. I worry about her two, her daughters. You know, if she had sons, I wouldn't be so worried. But I worry about her, like, I just worry about her two daughters. I think that they need to have stability in their life. I think that they need to have their dad in their life, Reese in their life. Um, I think that having a bunch of other men around after Reese has left is, like, really irresponsible. And basically, it's not teaching them any kind of self-respect or self-worth or self-love. Um, speculating against about their abuse. I believe they're both abusive. I believe they're both in a full-fledged relapse and they were fucking abusing each other. Because I know I've been there. I've been in active addiction before with a significant other. Um... What I feel like will happen with Jessica is she'll continue to just sweep things under the rug. Just like she told us she would show us those drug tests from CPS, that never happened. Because she can't, because they, they show that she was diluting them. Okay? She's saying now that she's going to prove all the rumors wrong. What, in two years? <laughs> you know, like, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting for? And Jason, what's so crazy is Jason is in the subreddit, you guys. And he is not denying being high. <laughs> That's what's so crazy to me. Jason, if you watch this video, dude, do your girl a favor. Like, you're not even denying being tweaked out of your mind in that fucking video. And so that gives me even more reason to believe that she really were tweaked out of your mind over at her house in front of her kids. Like, what? Do you see what I'm saying? When you, when you constantly surround yourself with people who are on drugs, who are like, you start not thinking clearly. And that's what I believe has happened with Jessica. Do I think she's over there shooting meth? No, I don't think that. I think Jessica is drinking the fuck out of some alcohol. And she is so much under the influence that she doesn't realize what she's... She didn't even look at that video. She says she edited it. I don't believe she even took a look at it. I, I believe they did, did it. She put some B-roll takes in it and then fucking put it up on the internet. Do I think she's taking her Adderall, overtaking it, or taking it diverting it and what I mean by that is not taking it every day 
taking it one day, letting it go out of our system for a couple days, then taking two at the same time and getting a real big poof, buzz. Yeah, I believe she's diverting her Adderall. Who do I think she got that Adderall from? I believe that her and Jason went to Amanda's doctor and got a prescription of Adderall. Because I talked to Amanda on the phone for like two hours the other night, y'all. Or the other day, other morning. And she has so much to tell me. She told me that the reason Jason had a black eye was because Jessica punched him in the fucking eye for leaving treatment. He left treatment after 12 days. And this is what he said. Why do they keep on putting me places where I can leave? Jason, because they're trying not to throw you back in prison, boo. You want to go back to prison? Like, this is an institutionalized mindset. Okay, go to treatment, get the help that you need, and get sobered up and get a job. Get a job. You know, a real job. So, anyways, I guess this is kind of like scattered, but I don't want to make it really, really long video, you guys. Um, there's a lot on the Jessica Kent Snark subreddits, and I'm going to link those subreddits in the comment section so you guys can go look for yourselves. Because that's where a lot of this information is posted so you can see it for proof with your own eyes. Because that's what I believe a lot of people just think I'm on here talking shit. No, I'm not. I'm not just talking shit, okay? Um, this stuff is really happening. I messaged Reese the other day. As far as I know, they're only talking through their lawyers. Do I talk to Reese on the phone on a daily basis? No. No. I do not contact him unless I feel like it has something to do with his children. And I think that is fair because those two little girls should be the only thing that Jessica cares about. And it's like, they're the farthest things from her mind. Giving them, giving them fucking lavish things and spoiling them with materialistic items means nothing. It's about the contact and the fucking bond that you have with your children. It's about listening to their day and saying, what happened at school today? Tell me about your best friends. Let's go for a walk. Let's go outside and play. It's about knowing your child and getting to know them. You can buy them all the most beautiful things in the whole wide world and be so disconnected from them. Now, I'm going to go because I'm going to get emotional. But you can have all the money in the world and still be a really bad parent.